The excitement of the market opening bell didn't last long today as U.S. stocks fell sharply as part of a global market sell-off. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped almost 1,000 points, just under 2.5%. It's the latest in the global sell-off that began last week, with Japan's Nikkei plunging 12.4%, its worst day since the Black Monday crash of 1987. The dramatic decline sparked by fears of a U.S. recession. Job data out of the U.S. on Friday made it look like currencies are going to be changing. And so investors got worried that, hey, like I've borrowed all this money in the Japanese market. That might be at risk. So they're selling to cover that. And so that's created all stocks are basically down across the world. Bitcoin's down across the world. And so it's affecting all equity type investments. Making things worse for Wall Street, big tech stocks also tumbled in part from AI. Despite the dramatic drop scaring many investors, Hoy Vila says those on the island will likely only see small hits on their investments. Most people on Vancouver Island have a low exposure to the Japanese stock market. So, you know, globally it hurts, but it, I, I don't think the, the Japanese market is affecting Vancouver Island as much. But investors are also worried about interest rates. Major calls tonight for Federal Reserve and the Bank of Canada to hold emergency meetings to drop the rates ahead of its scheduled decision on September 18th. And they don't happen that often unless there's a crisis happening. But yeah, the, the, I would definitely think that they are looking at this data and they would be formulating plans about what their, their decision was. Markets remain low after the bell with no sign of a bounce back. And this Vancouver Island advisor says it's normal. Markets in general tend to tend to have like three, five percent corrections, you know, in a year. So, you know, we're going through that now. And, uh, you know, it could be it could be greater than that. You know, time will tell. The quick advice from financial planners is to not panic. And this is a good time to review personal risk tolerance and check in with your investments.